A new Performance Line CX motor, new batteries up to 800 watt hours, a new Purion display, and plenty of other new features. You will find out everything you need to know about Bosch's 2025 model year in this video. For the 2025 model year, Bosch is making the fifth generation of its popular and reliable Performance Line CX motor available to e-bike manufacturers. It has been completely redesigned, meaning we have new mechanics and new electronics. Moreover, the Performance Line CX Gen 5 motor has also been equipped with additional position sensors that will considerably improve your overall riding experience. The pure technical specification data has remained the same on paper. So the CX Gen 5 motor still delivers a hefty 85 newton meters of torque to the wheel, up to 600 watts of power and supports you up to 340%. Bosch states that this performance data is the optimal compromise between power and power consumption. This means that you still have a full power motor, but with carefully optimized battery utilization. This is the reason why Bosch stuck with these specifications. In addition, the completely redesigned mechanics enable an improved noise level. This reduced noise means that you can now ride a little more quietly on the trail or on the bike path and can just completely forget about it while riding. In addition, better and higher quality bearings have improved the transition behavior. This means that even without motor support or over 25 km per hour, you will travel better and more comfortably with the new performance line CX Gen 5. The last major change is that the Gen 5 CX motor now features the so-called extended boost for extra assistance which you may know from the CX race motor. This means your engine continues running even after you have stopped pedaling which is possible within the legal framework to a certain extent. And what's special about the Gen 5 motor is that it can be smoothly controlled by your pedal inputs, so if you lightly press the pedal, the motor will propel you forward a little. Depending on how hard or strong the kick is, the extended boost will be accordingly stronger or shorter. This is especially helpful when you want to pedal over a small hill or route, or you need to cross a challenging terrain. Just give it a little kick and you'll easily get over the obstacle. Also new in this model year 2025 is a much improved smart push assist. On the one hand, the performance has now been improved because we have new position sensors in the motor that can accurately assess the position of the e-bike, for instance what slope it is riding on. Then the push assist can better react according to the current situation. But even more exciting are the hill hold, anti-back rolling, or roll-off aid functions. This means that if you have activated the push assist and stop, the motor controls the power so that the bike stays completely idle on the slope for 10 seconds, that is without rolling back and having to use up the power of the motor. So you can comfortably walk around the bike or take a little pressure off your arms. Practically, the motor ensures that the bike stops on a hill and then we also have hill start assist to resume riding. This allows you, once the push assist and hill hold are activated, to give yourself a little boost with the hill start assist by pressing the minus button again. It is like this extended boost when starting off, this allows you to take the first pedal stroke. The e-bike pushes you a little further up the hill and you have enough time to put your second foot on the pedal for a smooth and easy start. So it's really a smart help, both off-road and in everyday life. Other major innovations besides the motor itself are of course the two new power tube batteries. For once the 600 watt hour version and now finally in the 800 watt hour version. Bosch is thus closing the gap to various competitors and now also has the popular power tube in a powerful 800 watt version. Important note, these batteries have also been completely redesigned. That means we have new dimensions, you could even say a totally new shape. The cross section is also completely redesigned with new cells that can now allow for more power while at the same time reducing weight. So the 800 watt hour battery is about 500 gram lighter than the 750 watt hour power tube battery that you are familiar with. What is also important is that there is no longer any distinction between horizontal and vertical batteries. Depending on the type of installation used by the manufacturer, there are only different screwing plates. In the horizontal installation type, which is used by most manufacturers, it is also possible to replace the 600 watt hour battery with a 800 watt hour battery. In other words, the batteries have the same length and only differ in their structure. 
It is very easy to distinguish these from the old batteries because all the new batteries all have a new silver, unpainted aluminum casing, which also comes with a narrower wall thickness that allows to reduce their weight. Even if you cannot upgrade the 750 watt hour battery compartment to the 800 watt hour battery compartment, it is still a smart system battery. This means you can easily install 600 or 800 watt hours batteries on your smart system bike, which you may already have. For example, in dual battery operation, of course, there will also be plenty of options to see the 800 watt hour battery in a performance line or an active line with smart system. So this compatibility is still there, which means full dual battery capability and of course the new batteries are also compatible with the Bosch Powermore 250. Before we get into the other new products from Bosch, I recommend that you subscribe to our channel because then you won't miss any more news and you'll also get exciting insights behind the scenes, interesting tests and you won't miss any more tutorials. So subscribe to the channel and now let's take a look at the next new products. New motor, new battery, all that's missing is a new display. Bosch has that ready for you in model year 25 too, namely the so-called Purion 400, the sister display of the Purion 200 introduced last year. This also means that the display size remains the same, 1.6 inches diagonally. The mounting variant of the Purion 400 is new, as it is now mounted on the handlebars next to the stem. Accordingly, there are no control buttons, just a pure and elegant display that you can easily pair with either the system controller or the LED remote. It is also compatible with the Bosch Mini Remote Control Unit, and above all you have a very sporty display that can be integrated aerodynamically very well into the handlebars and also works well in mountain bikes. It is protected from branches or obstacles, simply a great placement, especially for downwards vision. So you don't have to annoyingly look left or right, but can safely keep your focus straight ahead. For me, it's definitely a very exciting display that you can easily upgrade yourself. No software update is necessary. If you're interested, please stop by our shop. We have prepared another tutorial for you on how you can retrofit this to your e-bike. Bosch has also worked on its ABS in the 2025 model year. As a result, it has brought a brand new version of the former Bosch e-bike ABS onto the market, the so-called Pro version. This is now even more aggressively designed for race and MTB use, tested in the World Cup, allows you to approach the trails even more aggressively, brakes more comfortably, as the power is even better transferred to the ground. The new sensors of the Gen 5 motor also enable a more targeted response, a better assessment of the bike's position, analyses the surface, finds the perfect braking torque, and ensures that you cannot slip away because the bike wheels are prevented from blocking. With the Pro version, you still have the option of letting the rear wheel lift up, for example, to be able to do a stoppy when stopping. This is possible with the Pro version of the ABS. Brakes will be quite soon available with ABS Pro as Magura MT7 brakes as well as TRP DHR Evo brakes. So both these two brakes can be equipped with ABS Pro in the near future. Last but not least, Bosch has already made an announcement for the 2027 model year. Bosch is taking part in the Charge to Bike initiative. It is committed to establishing a very well needed standard charging connection across the e-bike industry. This means that from model year 2027, Bosch will equip e-bikes with a charging adapter that can then be used with universal chargers from Bosch, but also from third-party suppliers. This saves you having to buy a new charger for each e-bike. Or when you're on the move, you have the option of handily charging different bikes from different manufacturers or even different Bosch e-bike generations with just one charger. And perhaps the most exciting possibility that this charge to bike connection makes possible is charging currents of 10 or even 12 amperes. This means that from 2027 it will also be possible to quickly charge Bosch e-bikes using a suitable charger. That's all in brief about Bosch's upcoming main innovations in 2025. Feel free to write us your highlights and what you think about them in the comments section. If you have any questions, then just ask us below. Give the video a like if you liked it, subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss any more compelling videos, and then I hope you have lots of fun with e-biking.